So here it is, the Smart Robot 3.0 Plus version. You can get 2.0 and the 3.0 version, the older ones, but this one has the most sensors, it has the most up-to-date software. Um, and I have to say right off the bat, then it takes a little bit of time. It's definitely more of an advanced uh, kit. It's not super, super easy. I did do a tutorial video one by one by one, but a child could not put this together. It is definitely for you know, definitely closer to teenagers age because just everything from coding the software to the screws and, and then the size of the screws as well. Like if you have any young children, you definitely want to be careful. There's some really small screws here, but this is what's in the kit and it does give you everything, tools, sensors, um, software is free to download on their website. It gives you an IR remote so you can use it as is and with coding uh, on your computer but you can also use your smartphone They have an app and the app is really cool actually i'll show you it in a second but uh you get way more controls and way more functionality out of the app itself now um, as far as putting this thing together it took me about an hour and a half i'm going to go ahead and give you a shortened version of you know how, how i set this all up but right now we're just doing an unboxing and you can see everything is individually wrapped everything is individually labeled when you get to this hardware pack the next box i open up um, it's actually not as crazy as it looks because each one of these baggies is a different page on the instruction manual. So you're never mixing and, ma max, uh, mix mixing and uh, matching from different packages here. So when I pour this out, like each one is for each step along the way. You do get the battery pack there. And the electrical tape is actually just uh, for the, uh, the robot to do any kind of tracing. But as far as the main purposes of this uh, robot, there are some step-by-step like fun things you can do like messing with the led lights and, and making a racetrack and you could do like very specific educational follow the textbook type of things or it has two main modes on it or three main modes manual line tracing where we'll follow a line on the ground and obstacle avoidance so this is the line tracing and i was it's okay you can see it's really confused right now because i used it on a concrete floor if you can put it on a floor with a little more contrast, then it will follow that line. Now, as far as this is me, the fast way of putting it all together. The optical avoidance uses the ultra, so going back to what we we're looking at, it was a uh, ultrasonic uh, sensor. And so it'll bounce, you know, off of walls and things and look for obstacles. Again, both the line tracing and the, and the, and the optical avoidance are kind of fun, but they're not well well done you know they <laughs> they're not perfect solutions um i feel like half the reason why you want to buy this is going to be for the tinkering and the coding and maybe a little less than half is for the actual driving of the unit so don't get me wrong it was a ton of fun to build myself but i just think uh anybody you know under 10 is going to have a difficult time with this but it could be a good bonding experience something like that uh for sure Whoa. 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 What? Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, it's working. There we go. So you have to put on no you have to put on your location and your Bluetooth. So what I was saying here was because I actually couldn't get it to work with my Samsung S10 at first. I found out I needed to have my location setting on as well. So you have to have Bluetooth and location. And now I'm controlling it with my left thumb there. And uh, it does, uh -oh. it is an analog stick. So it goes increased power the, the further you move that joystick. Over, now, um, Note that I shouldn't be doing this because it's actually messing up the line sensor. I actually bent my line sensor a little bit. I just bent it back. But uh, you might want to take off that line sensor if you are going to be running anything over. Uh, just keep that in mind, right? That's underneath. This does come pre-installed with the software. So you actually don't have to hook this up to a computer at all. All you need is either that IR remote and do it manually, or you can use the app, which I'm using in this video, or this part of the video as well. My son had already seen this before. Like this is his like fifth, sixth, seventh time seeing me use the uh, the device. So that's why he's not running after it. But that's actually a good point is I don't recommend it for kids because they can pull that Bluetooth module right off. They can mess with the board. They should make like a little case for this, especially for young children. 
it's really not a lot of the sensors are exposed and wires are exposed so as far as uh, my final review if you're interested in this from a tinkering standpoint a plus if you're interested for this kid for kids like i don't know how much of a kid application this is for it's definitely going to be more towards teenagers but uh all in all it works great the traction on those tires are amazing it's a good value for everything you're getting and it'll definitely keep you entertained for hours so with all that said, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.